Semtel Present, Technology Learning Software for Basic Electrical Engineering. In this video, we will see the lecture of Diode. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about Diode. After studying this, you will be able to know Introduction of Diode, Types of Diode, PN junction diode, formation of PN junction diode, forward and reverse characteristics, working of PN junction diode, Zener diode, tunnel diode, pin diode, Varakta diode, Schottky diode, light emitting diode, and photo diode. First, let's understand what a diode is. A diode is a semiconductor device that allows current to flow through it in only one direction, as you can see in an animation. Its function is similar to a way in which a check valve allows fluid to flow through it in only one direction. Now, we explain different types of diodes. There are various types of diodes, such as Schottky diode, tunnel diode, Zener diode, Varakta diode, photodiode, pin diode, PN junction diode, light emitting diode. We will explain all one by one. Let's begin with PN junction. PN junction diode consists of a sandwich of P-type and N-type semiconductors. Rather than two separate pieces of doped silicon being joined, a single sample of intrinsic silicon is treated first with a P-dopant. Then with an end opened, metal contacts are coated on each region, so that wires can be attached, as shown in an animation. The boundary between the P-type and the N-type regions is called the junction. The resulting device, which is made by P and N-type of semiconductor material, along with a depletion layer, is known as PN junction diode. As we see in an animation, the free electrons on the N side of the junction are attracted to the positive holes on the P side. The electrons readily move into the P side and recombine with the holes. Holes from the P side similarly move into the N side, where they recombine with electrons. Now, we explain the formation of P and N type material. First we see, formation of P type material. When small amount of trivalent impurity, such as, aluminium, is added to semiconductor like silicon, resulting crystal forms P type semiconductor. As we see in an animation, trivalent impurity atom. Aluminium is added in a crystal of silicon atoms. Impurities such as aluminium and boron remove free electrons. So that the resulting material has fewer free electrons than before. Each missing electron within the crystal structure is called a hole. So in a p-type material, holes are the majority charge carriers. Now, we are going to discuss about formation of N-type material, when small amount of pentavalent impurity is added to semiconductor. Resulting crystal is N-type semiconductor. Impurities such as arsenic and phosphorus 
add extra free electrons to the material. In n-type material, electrons are the majority charge carrier. In p-n junction diode, the holes and electrons are uniformly distributed throughout the volume of the p-type and n-type semiconductors respectively. As we see in an animation, when semiconductors of p-type and n-type are brought together, electrons and holes migrate across the junction. Due to this, depletion layer is formed. In the depletion region, equal number of impurity atoms is involved on each side of the junction. However, the thickness of depletion layer depends on the amount of doping on each side. Here, we are showing the symbol of p-n junction diode. Next we discuss, characteristics of p-n junction diode. A semiconductor diode's voltage current, or VI characteristic curve is described to the behavior of the depletion layer which exists at the p-n junction, between two semiconductors. First, we explain the forward bias characteristics. In forward bias, we connect positive terminal of the battery to anode, and negative terminal to cathode of diode. In the forward bias condition, the depletion region is reduced in width, and the barrier potential progressively disappears, as the applied bias voltage is increased from zero. As we see in an animation, voltage is increasing, due to change in voltage, the size of depletion layer also change. At a certain voltage level, width of the depletion layer is almost negligible. This voltage is called the forward bias voltage. For germanium, this forward bias voltage is 0.3 volt. And for silicon it is 0.7 volt. At this voltage range, p-n junction diode is said to be in forward bias condition. And it acts as a switch. Next is, reverse characteristics of p-n junction diode. In reverse bias, we connect negative terminal of the battery to anode, and positive terminal to cathode of diode. In reverse bias condition, the width of the depletion layer gets increased, as the voltage increases in the reverse direction. At certain voltage level, such as, minus 30 volt, a very small amount of current is flow. Here, we are showing the forward and reverse characteristics of p-n junction diode in a graph. Here, we show the working of p-n junction diode. If a diode is connected in a forward bias condition between a battery and a bulb, then in this configuration, the diode works as a close switch and current is flow from battery to bulb. Due to this, bulb glows. But, in reverse bias condition, diode acts as an open switch, and it blocks the current flown from battery to bulb. In this condition bulb does not glow. Now, we are going to discuss, Zener diode. Zener diode is voltage regulator diode. It is used in many power applications. Zener diode is silicon p-n junction device, that operate in reverse breakdown region. The reverse breakdown may occur either due to, avalanche, or Zener effect. Figure shows Zener diode characteristics in which, the forward characteristic is same, as that of ordinary forward bias junction diode. 
In the reverse direction however, there is a very small leakage current between zero volt and there's an voltage, that is, just a tiny amount of current is able to flow. As we see in an animation, when the voltage reaches the breakdown voltage, suddenly current can flow freely through it. As the reverse voltage is increased, the leakage current remains essentially constant. Until the breakdown voltage is reached, where the current increases dramatically. This voltage is called the breakdown voltage. By this property, Zener diode can be used as a voltage regulator. Here is the formula for Zener diode. Zener diode is designed to operate in the breakdown region. Once the breakdown voltage is present, that is, Vz, Zener diode will conduct current. As long as the source voltage Vs is greater than Vz, Zener diode will maintain a constant Zener voltage, Vz. Here, we show the formula for series resistor current, IR1, voltage across the load, IRL current through the Zener diode, IZ, and voltage through the load, that is, VRL. Next, we are going to discuss here is, tunnel diode. Tunnel diode is a high conductivity two terminal PN junction diode, doped heavily about 1000 times greater than a conventional junction diode. The circuit symbol of tunnel diode is shown here. Now, the characteristics of tunnel diode. During forward biased, the tunnel diode shows the tunneling effect up to the peak point A. As we see in an animation, as the voltage increases, the diode shows the negative resistance effect up to the point B, this point is also known as valley point. In forward characteristics, the current whose values are between IP and IV, the curve is triple valued. Now, we see the reverse characteristics of tunnel diode. The reverse current increases with the increase in reverse voltage. Now, we elaborate the forward curve of the tunnel diode. When the charge carrier penetrates through the narrow space charge region of the junction, the current flows through the device, known as tunneling current. The region in which the current decreases with increase in voltage is known as negative resistance region. As we see in an animation, when diode is forward biased, a current flows through diode due to recombination of carriers, whose value increases within voltage, is known as diode current. Next is, pin diode. Pin diode is composed of three sections, in which, a high resistivity intrinsic layer is sandwiched between, P and N region. As we see in an animation, an intrinsic semiconductor is sandwiched between, P and N region, and the resulted device is known as pin diode. The circuit symbol of pin diode is shown here. The region between both P and N type material and intrinsic semiconductor, is known as depletion layer. As we see in an animation, under no bias condition, means, we does not provide any voltage to diode. Due to the concentration gradient across the junction, the depletion layer is produced, across the PI, and IN junction. Under such condition, the device has, a high value of resistance. 
Now, we talk about the forward bias condition of pin diode. In forward biased, the width of the depletion layer decreases. As a result, more carriers are injected into the eye region, which reduces the resistance of depletion layer. The diode behaves as variable resistor. When the pin diode is in reverse biased condition, and as we increase the voltage, the thickness of depletion layer increases, till the eye region become free of mobile carriers. At this stage, the pin diode acts like a constant capacitor. So, in forward bias condition, pin diode act as a variable resistor, and in reverse bias condition, it act as a constant capacitor. Varactor diode is a type of diode that has capacitance, which varies as a function of the voltage, applied across its terminals. It is a reverse biased BN junction, which utilizes the inherent capacitance of the depletion layer. The circuit symbol of Varactor diode is shown here. Under the reverse biased condition, the depletion layer forms on either side of the junction. The depletion region here acts as a dielectric, whereas P and N region act as a capacitor plate. As we see in an animation, when the reverse biased voltage decreases, the depletion layer narrow down which in turn increases the capacitance. The graph shows the voltage and capacitance relation. When the reverse bias voltage increases, the depletion region widens, which in turn reduces the capacitance. As we clearly see in a graph, when reverse voltage increases, due to this, the value of capacitance decreases. The range of capacitance variation, that is, the tuning range of the Rector diode depends on the doping level. Next type of diode is Schottky diode. Schottky diode is formed by joining a doped semiconductor region with metal, such as, gold, silver or platinum. In metals and semiconductors, 
electrons are the majority carrier. The circuit symbol of Schottky diode is shown here. Now, we are going to discuss here is the characteristics of Schottky diode. The Schottky diode has a lower barrier potential, or we can say that the forward bias voltage about 0.2 to 0.25 volt whereas normal silicon p-n junction diode has a barrier potential of 0.7 volt in reverse bias condition Schottky diode exhibit higher leakage current and lower reverse breakdown voltage as compared to normal p-n junction diode In a graph, we can see the difference between the characteristics of PN junction diode and Schottky diode. Next type of diode, which we are going to discuss here, is light emitting diode. In this, first we see the construction of LED. In LED, or light emitting diode, N type layer is grown upon a substrate, and the P region is produced by diffusion. The metal connection to both the layer makes anode and cathode. In LED, there is a PN junction diode inside it. Due to this, anode and cathode terminal are made. Also, there is a window by which the emitting light is exit in the environment. This PN junction diode is placed inside the glass material, along with two legs, that is, anode and cathode. And the complete assembly is known as LED. Definition of LED An LED is a PN junction diode which emits light when current is passed through it. The amount of light output is directly proportional to the forward current. As we see in an animation, the positive terminal of battery is connected with LED, anode terminal, and negative or cathode terminal of LED is connected with battery's negative terminal. This is the forward bias condition of LED, and in this condition LED emits light. When LED is forward biased, the electrons and holes move towards the junction and recombine. After recombination, the electrons lying in the conduction band of N region, falls into the hole, lying in the valence band of P region. The difference of energy between conduction band and valence band is radiated in the form of light energy. Next, we will explain the application of LED. LED is a very useful device for display purpose. And used in many devices. The reason behind it, is, low cost, durable and low power. Mainly LED is used in display devices optical fiber, switches, traffic signals and electronic circuits. Another type of diode which we discuss here is, photodiode. A photodiode is a two-terminal PN junction device which operate in a reverse bias. It has a small window, which allows light to strike the PN junction.
as we reverse bias the diode and increase the light energy. The reverse current in the junction increases. It is due to generation of more and more carrier, with increase in level of illumination. If we does not apply any light on the surface of the diode, then, in this condition, a very small amount of current is flow, due to the minority carriers, this current is known as the dark current. If we increase the intensity of the light, then the current flow through diode is also increases as we clearly see in an animation. The graph between light intensity and current, shows the value of current on a particular light intensity.